European data protection law has evolved significantly over recent years, driven by technological advances, increased data sharing, and the critical need for privacy. The EU's General Data Protection Regulation and GDPR has established comprehensive standards for data protection, including specific requirements for securing personal data, ensuring accountability, and managing international data transfers. This article delves into these areas in detail, providing an overview of key provisions and their implications, and security of personal data, appropriate technical and organizational measures. The GDPR emphasizes a multifaceted approach to data security, mandating both technical and organizational measures. Here's a closer look at these protections. Encryption. Encryption safeguards data by converting it into a form that can only be read by those with the decryption key. This provides a robust line of defense against unauthorized access, particularly for sensitive or financial data. Access controls. These mechanisms restrict data access to authorized personnel, mitigating risks of internal and external breaches. Access controls include role-based access, authentication processes, and multi-factor authentication to ensure only authorized individuals can access specific information. Pseudonymization. This process replaces identifiable information with pseudonyms, reducing the risk of associating data with individuals. Pseudonymization adds another layer of protection, particularly useful for analytics and research. Ongoing monitoring. Organizations must implement continuous monitoring and evaluation of security measures. This includes conducting regular audits, vulnerability assessments, and penetration testing to identify and address potential threats. Breach notification. In the event of a data breach, organizations must adhere to strict reporting guidelines, ensuring transparency and swift action. Risk reporting requirements. The GDPR mandates that data breaches be reported to supervisory authorities within 72 hours of discovery. This report must detail the nature of the breach, categories and approximate numbers of affected individuals, possible consequences, and measures taken to address it. Guidelines 01-2021 on Personal Data Breach Notification. This guideline offers practical examples and clarifies steps for handling breaches. It emphasizes internal reporting structures, communication strategies, and rapid response to minimize damage. Guidelines 9-2022 on Personal Data Breach Notification. This provides further clarity on reporting responsibilities, outlining roles of controllers and processes, and the need for timely communication with affected individuals. Vendor management organizations increasingly rely on third-party vendors to process and store data, making vendor management a critical aspect of data protection. Vendor selection. Organizations must carefully evaluate and select reliable vendors with proven security practices. This includes reviewing their data protection knowledge, policy frameworks, and accreditation. Contracts. Agreements with vendors must include provisions that ensure they implement appropriate security measures, notify the organization promptly of breaches, and allow for audits to ensure compliance. Ongoing monitoring. Regular audits and reviews help maintain vendor accountability, ensuring their security measures remain effective and compliant with GDPR standards. Data sharing. Secure data sharing between organizations is essential, particularly when handling personal data. Data minimization. Sharing should be limited to only the information necessary for the intended purpose. Secure transfers. Encryption or secure transfer protocols should be used to protect data in transit. Documented agreements. Clear agreements must outline the roles and responsibilities of each party, including how data will be processed and protected. Uh, accountability requirements. Responsibility of controllers and processors. The GDPR defines the roles and responsibilities of controllers and processors, emphasizing accountability. Joint controllers. When two or more controllers jointly determine the purposes and means of processing, they must clearly define and communicate their respective responsibilities. This arrangement must be available to data subjects, allowing them to exercise their rights against either controller. Documentation. Controllers and processors must maintain comprehensive documentation to demonstrate compliance, including records of processing activities and DPIAs, data protection impact assessments. Data protection by design and by default. Privacy should be integral to products and services from the outset. 
Data protection by design. This involves embedding data protection measures into systems and processes, ensuring compliance from inception. Data protection by default. Privacy settings should default to the highest level of protection, minimizing data collection and processing. Documentation and cooperation with regulators' accountability extends to regulatory cooperation with organizations required to maintain detailed records and cooperate with supervisory authorities. Records. Organizations must document processing activities, including categories of data, purposes of processing and retention periods. Regulatory cooperation. Organizations must provide requested information to regulators promptly, allowing for audits and inspections to ensure compliance. Data Protection Impact Assessment, DPIA. DPIAs assess the potential impact of processing activities on individuals, identifying risks and measures to mitigate them. Criteria for conducting DPIAs. DPIAs are mandatory when processing is likely to result in high risk, such as processing large amounts of sensitive data or using new technologies. DPIA content. A DPIA must include a description of the processing activities, an assessment of their necessity and proportionality, identification of risks and measures to mitigate these risks. Mandatory data protection officers, DPOs, organizations must appoint a DPO if they process large amounts of personal data regularly or handle sensitive data on a large scale. On DPO responsibilities, the DPO advises the organization on GDPR compliance, monitors processing activities and cooperates with supervisory authorities. Auditing of privacy programs, regular audits ensure compliance with GDPR requirements and maintain privacy programs. Review. Audits review processing activities, security measures and access controls. Vendor management. They also assess vendor management practices, ensuring third-party compliance. Trade international data transfers. Rationale for prohibition. The GDPR restricts the transfer of personal data outside the EU EEA unless specific conditions are met, ensuring that EU-level protections are maintained. Guidelines 05-2021. This clarifies the interplay between Article 3 and Chapter 5 of the GDPR, outlining conditions under which data transfers can occur. Adequate jurisdictions. The European Commission recognises certain jurisdictions as having adequate data protection measures, allowing for data transfers without additional safeguards. 1. Jurisdiction evaluation. The Commission evaluates each jurisdiction's legal framework, including data protection laws, enforcement mechanisms and safeguards. Safe Harbour, Privacy Shield and the Transatlantic Data Privacy Framework. DREMS decisions. These legal challenges led to the invalidation of Safe Harbour and Privacy Shield, emphasizing the need for robust safeguards in transatlantic data transfers. Transatlantic Data Privacy Framework. This new framework aims to address SHREM's concerns, ensuring adequate protections for EU data transferred to the US. Standard contractual clauses, SCCs, SCCs provide a mechanism for data transfers to non-EUEA jurisdictions. Contractual safeguards. Organizations must include SCCs in contracts, ensuring data protection standards are maintained during transfers. Transfer impact assessments. Organizations must conduct TIAs to ensure adequate protections in destination countries. Binding corporate rules, BCRs. BCRs allow multinational companies to transfer data within their corporate group. 1. Approval. BCRs must be approved by a supervisory authority and reviewed regularly to ensure compliance. Codes of conduct and certifications. Codes of conduct and certifications offer alternative mechanisms for international data transfers. 1. Guidelines 04-2021. This provides a framework for codes of conduct to facilitate transfers, with certifications demonstrating compliance with GDPR standards. Derogations. Certain circumstances permit data transfers without additional safeguards. 1 Guidelines 2 2018. This outlines derogations of Article 49, including data subject consent, contractual necessity, and public interest. Transfer Impact Assessments, TIAs. TIAs ensure compliance with EU data protection standards. 1 Recommendations 2020. This provides guidance on conducting TIAs, including assessing legal frameworks of destination countries and implementing supplementary measures if necessary.